Hello everyone, Kinetic here, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Now, I know in the past couple of videos, I was a bit... Well... I was, I was, I was having a bit of an anxiety issue. Uh, uncertainty, lots of rumors flying around about what was going to be in the patch coming up for Dark Souls 2, which uh, recently released, and there was also a lot of confusion on which actual version calibration that was as well. The version calibrations version that I was talking about, that I had heard about, was version 1.03 calibrations 1.04, I believe, which included boss nerfs and things like that. Some people were like, well, there's no boss nerfs, and that was a different patch. <laughs> That's why. As you can see, I'm in offline mode, and I'm still working with uh, 1.02 for version and calibrations 1.03, so I believe that I'm still working on the the old version that doesn't include the boss nerfs. And it also seems that the number of bosses seem to have been exaggerated for getting nerfed or something like that, or maybe they just changed their mind. I don't know. But either way, guys, um, there were a few boss nerfs and there were a bunch of other changes to the game and stuff like that. However, I just don't want to deal with that. I, I don't want to... I don't want to get the patch. I don't want any of the bosses I'm, I'm fighting for this playthrough made any easier. I just want to play the game the way it was originally designed and played and now almost everybody has probably finished it now besides me. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I think this will actually be in some ways more beneficial as well because, for example, like the recent uh, Mimic chest, I had a warning before that and so there was almost no surprise that it was uh that it well there was no surprise that it was a mimic and sometimes i've been feeling like that it's like sometimes <clears throat> these messages can be helpful and kind of cool and, and things like that but they can also kind of spoil things just a little bit spoil some of the the cooler surprises or or whatever so without those messages and i could of course you know just ignore them uh, but, you know, there's, 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 there's kind of like a, like I see it, I want to read it. Kind of like a blood saint. And I'm going to miss looking at blood saints, that's for sure. But, um, I think I'm going to go with this for now. And perhaps, perhaps what I will do is, I know the names of the bosses, or sort of, kind of remember what the names of the bosses are that have been patched. Once I've past i guess whatever the boss is are that have been patched then i'll go ahead probably reconnect my internet to my playstation 3 and then play i guess online from there and some of you might be thinking oh you're gonna maybe miss out on all this pvp or something like that for uh well another thing that i've heard is that there's hardly any pvp to speak of in your first playthrough whatever they've uh done to this first um, well, whatever they've done to players in their first playthrough seems to really reduce the, the chances of people being invaded. And that seems really to be the case because, I mean, I, have, I haven't been invaded once by an actual player. I've been invaded, of course, by the NPCs and stuff like that. But I haven't actually had a, a real player invasion, which I find really kind of strange but it kind of makes sense like if they don't want a lot of people getting too how can i say frustrated by lots of people invading them and it's the first time ever playing a souls game or whatever yeah i can kind of understand how that could that could be you know kind of a, like a turn off <laughs> to say the least for a lot of players but whatever yeah so i don't think that there's really anything that i'm really missing except for maybe some fun blood stains to look at but uh, like I said once we get to that boss that has been patched and then I'll plug it back in we'll, then we'll, we'll maybe I'll just spend a whole video looking at anything but blood stains <laughs> either way guys let's continue with uh, Dark Souls 2 I'm feeling much more relaxed and chill now I'm not uh, I'm not stressing about the game and so yeah hopefully I'll perform a little bit better too than I did against the Scorpion S that was that was awful. <laughs> Here we go. Since I'm in offline mode, that also means that I get to check out, I think, what I've been told, my personal death count so far. 50... Fi huh? I've died 51 times? Is that right? Wow. That's... 
That's a lot more than I thought. Huh? Really? 51 times? Some, I mean, I know some of those bosses I died to quite a few times, like the Pursuer, the Scorpioness, the Lost Sinner. Yeah, I guess 51 does. <laughs> oh, of course, and of course, like, yeah, the Chariot. Okay, it makes sense now. <laughs> Never mind. I, I, I get it now. Let's take another one of these um, effigies. Get myself nice and healthy. There we go. Awesome. And I think we are done with the area with a bunch of those like curse jars, weren't we? So that means... Right. The Gav Gavlon style. Gavlon style. <laughs> Goblong style uh, area that I was in before. This is the place, isn't it? Oh, and then there's that other area too. The um, that area with like that poison mist stuff. I still don't know. Hmm. I still don't really know how powerful things are in that area. The poison pool. Okay. Yeah. Let's go check out the poison pool. See what that's like. I know that the other place with the uh, the Govlong guys, they weren't too bad. They were pretty... Yeah, they were definitely manageable. Harvest Valley. Here we are. Okay. <clears throat> Got the, uh, the Pool of Death, which we need to try and get past nice and quickly. There we go. We've got What's-Her-Face here selling stones. And, yep, there it is. There is the... Disgusting poison pool looking area. Yep. Alright. Switch to my fire longsword. Something. What the? <laughs> huh? <laughs> it looks like he's like listening in on the wall. Just, 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 like listening for something. And then died just like that, I guess. <laughs> okay. Um, so that thing. Whoa, wait a minute. I think I've seen that thing before. Well, I've seen a screenshot of it. Right? There's a, yeah, there's a guy standing on top. Yep, that's definitely that thing. Whatever it is. Whoa. Okay. Life gem. Really? I'm gonna complete. Yes. Oh, God damn, you're fast. I thought he was still back there, like getting his head on straight and stuff like that. <laughs> um. What was I saying? Never mind. Alright, so this is clearly... Huh. He's not doing anything yet. Is he looking at... Yes, he is. Okay. Poison, of course. It's not just a... Not just a clever name, is it? Poison pool. Alright, so you want to fight or what? Because I'm not fighting you down there. You know that. Can I, can I switch targets? Target the other guy? Whoa! What the? He does not like butter knives being thrown at him. Okay! Alright, dude. Alright. Alright. What the? That... Looks like, what, dark magic, I guess? Might as well throw my knives. Like... What the hell? The sea doesn't seem to be doing anything. Um. Don't I have other knives? Yes, I do. I have poison knives of my own. Or poison stuff of my own. Okay, is he coming? Or is he... What are you doing? Can I poison him? I'm really curious about that. I, maybe I have to throw a lot of poison darts at him? Until he's actually poisoned? Like, there's no indication of, like, how poisoned they are. Is there? I wonder how close I gotta be to actually get hit by that. Don't think I wanna know. I might as well... I feel like I'm cheesing this guy to death, and I didn't really want that. I wanted him to come up here, because I don't want to fight down there. Come on, dude! Can you do nothing else except that? Because I... I... 
fine. Oh, wow. You are soft as butter, aren't you? Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. Easy, bruh. Easy. These guys are... Speaking of easy, that's exactly what these guys are. Easy. A fading soul. Fading soul? Is that what I think it is? Yep. It's a really tiny soul uh, item. Okay. Wow, so these guys are squishy. Maybe I should be here then. You know what I mean? Instead of the other area. Because... Yeah, pretty squishy. <laughs> Interesting, a crate. You don't see many crates in this game, do you? Nothing special about it. Uh, another fading soul and a titanite shard. And a poison. Shit, because poison is... Poison is no joke in Dark Souls 2. Look at that junk. Wait, don't I have? No, I don't. Okay. Um, it's like I hear something. Oh, it's the uh, the windmill things. Oh, okay. I thought I heard like footsteps or whatever. Okay, so wow, so there are so many items down there, and there's. No, there's definitely... There's somebody here. And I swear I just heard a gulp. Is that no way? Is Govlon here? I thought I... That is a gulp. Is that Govlon? Govlon wheel? Govlon deal? Dude! Dude, I've been looking for you. Is that him for real? Because I feel so stupid that I didn't sell... Stuff to him before. A hexing urn times ten. Huh. Hexing. Hexing urn. Ah. Ah, isn't this. No, this is completely different. <laughs> Explodes inflicting dark damage. We had a. Witching urn, wasn't that? Before. That I, that I used way back at like the beginning of the game. I had witching arts, didn't I? And I used them all. Um, dude, Govlon Wheel. Govlon Deal, where you at, man? Come on. He's around here, isn't he? He's gotta be. Alright. Well, we're, I don't think he's anywhere back that way, so we're just gonna have to go this way and... Wait, there's two of you here? I thought... Man, I must be blind, because I thought there was only one of you guys here. There's two. Alright. Oh my god. Okay. Wait, this is... Wait, what? Dude, that is insane damage. Me blocking was half my health just now, wasn't it? Or did I somehow not block that? I don't understand. Oh my god! What? What is that shit? Did I say these guys are easy or did I just say they're squishy? Because if I said they're easy, shame on me. This is not so easy. Oh god. Please stop that. I need to switch back to my shield, for one. Um. Two, I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. Because if I go over there close enough, I'm going to get... Shit! Wow. Wow. Is all I got to say. Come on, damn you. It seems if I stand right here, that thing won't hit me. But he won't come any closer than that either. Come on! Damn it, what am I gonna do about this? This, this does crazy damage. Will you come over here? Come on, you get closer. Come on, why don't you. You. you 
hear that thing close over here so I can hit you. Don't make... Um, I have a feeling if I go down there, I'm going to get wrecked. Okay. No, never mind. Come on. Ah, this works. This definitely works. No! No! Come back here! Where are you going? Where are you going? What's really interesting is I swear he takes more damage when you're below him, actually. Yeah? Then what? This guy's coming up here, isn't he? Don't ask me why I did that. Alright, what are you gonna do now? Are you gonna throw magic and shit? Like the other one. Now what the hell is he doing? Are you praising the sun, bro? Cause that's... That looks like exactly what he's doing. He looks like he's totally praising the sun right now. Come on, are you gonna do something or what? What what is your deal? Why do you do nothing? This is so weird. Really? What? Okay, you do do something. Never mind. Ah, now it begins. Okay. Um, I don't have any more healing. Except for my flask. Just get down there. Kill him. There. Okay. <laughs> that shit hit. It's really hard, though. I think I... I think I'm uh, justified in my paranoia and caution. Those guys here. Really freaking hard. That that that's dark magic, isn't it? That shit is so hard. I can't believe that. Alright, so we're up here now. I swear we're getting further away from Goblin. Um What is this? Nothing back there. Okay. Hole? Sure. Ah! Aha! I don't want to go this way, though. Because... Uh, is there no other way? Dude, that is... I can hear Gavilan, like, drinking right here. Where are you, bro? Is there maybe an invisible wall here, possibly? Where are you? I don't get it. It sounds like he's right freaking there. And that's where I want to go. But I don't see anywhere else to go. There's just poison everywhere. Hang on. I don't... I don't see anybody. There's gotta be a... Wait a minute. There's a cave right there. How did I miss that? Wait, is he in here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, is he in here? Mm. Fragrant... Ah! Branch of Yore. That unpetrifies people, doesn't it? Dude, if Gavlon's here... Gavlon, is that you? 
Is that you? You look really different. Dude, is that Gavlon? Please tell me that's you. <sighs> Gavlon no Yes! Yes, 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 yes! I found him! I found Gavlan! Lonesome Gavlan. Dude, it has been a long time, bro. Can we ha can we get a drink together? I I'm I'm really thirsty. Cheers. Cheers, Gavlan. What's up, bud? I'm gonna sell you so much crap right now. You're gonna love it. Um, how about we start with this dagger? This could take a while. Maybe I should make a cut here. <laughs> Let's but first take take notice of my uh, soul count there. 6,125, alright? Now I'm gonna sell a bunch of crap. Alright guys, so I think I've managed to sell quite a bit of stuff. I've now got 10,000 more souls, basically, right? <laughs> um, from all this stuff that I sold. A lot of weapons, uh, extra gear that I figured I'm probably never gonna use. I even sold one of my rings, the, uh, the one that like boosts your HP by like a little skimpy amount or something like that and that was about it 10,000 souls nice many deal many thanks <laughs> indeed thank you Gavlan good wheeling and dealing my friend and there's a chest right next to you interesting it poisoned it see yeah uh, see there's another thing. Now that uh, now that I'm offline. What? You? No, no, no. I don't want anything from you. you. Yes. I go home. Pick up item. A raw stone. I think. Okay. That that doesn't that return. Uh... Ah, change weapon to raw. Yep. As I thought. Okay. Cool. Thanks a lot, Gavlan. Good wheeling and dealing, buddy. Good stuff. Good stuff. And. Ring of Binding I don't actually need anymore because I'm not uh, hollowing. So... Let's go with the... Degradation. Thing. The, the, the anti-degrading. Ooh, there's another path down there. I have this feeling though, like... There's... I could be totally wrong, maybe I am, but I get this feeling that maybe there will be something that I activate that um, makes all this mist, this poison mist go away. I almost feel like there might be something like that. And you're either laughing at me because I'm totally wrong and there is no such thing. Or maybe you're impressed because I'm I'm predicting the future. I don't know. But there is a lot of stuff here, and it's just death as well down there. But I can't really just leave this stuff here, can I? I want that stuff. <laughs> I really do. So I... What I think I'll do is I'll go ahead and make the run. I'll be poisoned. I'll just drink the rest of my Estes flasks. And then I'll go back to the bonfire, use the souls that I have, and recover my flasks. How's that? Sounds like a plan. Let's do this. What do we got? Throwing knife times 10. Poison throwing knife. What do we got? Uh, fading soul. whoop do you do What's this? Titanite chunk. Fade. Uh, another fading soul. Really? Fade. Ugh. A silky stone. Okay, that's kind of cool. I need to be careful. Another silky stone and another titanite shard. Was that? All right, I need to be careful. Poison soul was gone. Actually, that's not too bad, is it? I, I was actually thinking that maybe around that corner there might be even more, but there wasn't. It came to an end sooner than I thought. All right, let's um check this out. Holy fuck. Open? Oh, it's a chest! Fire... What was that? Fire seed and what? I think it was one of those divine drinks, actually, maybe. That should... keep me alive. Wasn't it? Divine... 
divine blessing, wasn't it? That was what that was, I think. A fire seed? Yep. So we've got two fire seeds and a divine blessing. Okay, so that wasn't actually a path down there. It was just a hidden treasure chest. Okay, that's cool. Um, so we've got the other path over there. And the door that we recently opened with the switch. But I've only got one Estus flask now. And I've got 16,000. <laughs> 16 thousand souls so I'm going back a lovely bath of disgusting poison shit let's go back to Machula and I'm gonna use up these souls okay so I'm gonna put a point into endurance and strength that seems pretty good I might do adaptability in the uh, the next next time I'll put points into stuff all right so we're going back now to poison pit, poison pool, or whatever it is, and we will go through that doorway. I'm so glad that I went back, honestly. I almost was thinking to myself, well, maybe going through there comes way around or something like that. But then I was like, nah, souls don't really work like that. Souls games don't really work, in my opinion, so much like that. So having heard him, I was really convinced that he was close, and there had to be some way to get to him sooner rather than later. Alright, so now we've got back to here. <laughs> should I just try and fight this thing straight up, or, or what? No, maybe, I should, I'll sh maybe I could just run past it. Let's just run past it. I don't have to fight it, do I? There. I'm gone. Bye. You guys, I will have to fight though, won't I? All over again. Oh wow, I thought it was gonna hit the, uh... I thought it was gonna hit the rock wall, it didn't. Wait. Oh man, I was nervous, I thought I was gonna turn around and, and see that guy coming. No, what are you doing? Wow, oh, okay, that was me being foolish. What's interesting is that I actually managed to... I just rolled out of mid-heal? Is that what I did? You can do that? That's interesting. So if I happen to be a dumbass again... and start healing instead of blocking because I forget to switch back to really don't like that stuff. Um, forget to switch back to my, my shield, and I can actually cancel out of healing, and um, just roll out of it, which is great. Alright, now what are we going to do about you? Because I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Nope. No, sir, I don't like it. And I don't want to fall or get hit like that either. No, that would be bad. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, don't back out. Don't back out. Come closer. Come a little closer. Come on. Fine. Right in the butt. Alright. Now we just have to... Do we really actually have to deal with this guy? Because I'm thinking... No. Nope. See, look at that. Just right past him. Go, just go right past him. No problem. Up. <laughs> I knew it. I knew there was going to be a bonfire right here. As I was saying earlier, oh, I'm going to go back and... I'm going to go back and, and use my souls and stuff like that. Go back to the other bonfire. I'm thinking to myself, ah, they're probably screaming, No! The guys are screaming, No, there's a bonfire right after the doorway. Uh, yeah. Those, those bonfires do seem mighty close together. But then again, I've noticed that. Maybe, or maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's just a... I don't know. But it kind of seems to me... Bonfires are really close to each other. This time. 
in Dark Souls 2 compared to Dark Souls 1. It felt to me like bonfires in Dark Souls 1 were so much more spread apart. Oh, there is all kinds of directions I can go. What was that? That I just heard something. My imagination. There's all kinds of noises around here. Okay, so we got a pit that I can either fall into on purpose or out of desperation to avoid getting killed. There's another one there. Direction that way and a direction this way. Let's see what's over here first. Uh, a bunch of. Dude, is that a hammer? That is a freaking huge hammer. Okay, it looks like maybe I would jump down those holes and come out this side. Possibly, maybe. I'm still thinking maybe there's a way to get rid of this poison. Honestly. And you know what? Fuck those items down there. <laughs> like, what did I pick up last time when I went down there? I found, like, three fading souls and a couple of titanite pieces. whoop dee doo I don't really feel like going down into boys just for that. Can I even go this way? Oh, I can. Okay. Fallen rock was kind of deceiving. This... this... Uh-oh. Oh boy, you just did that. Alright, now what? Now what? Don't you do that. No, 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 no. We're not, we're not doing that in close combat. Don't you do it. Ugh. Thought I was blocking by that time. There we go, okay. So... Here's something. I heard chains just now. So I can't break this, but they can. There's another way in there, right? Or do you have to try and get that the giant that I just killed to break that for you somehow? I wonder. Um Oh wow, look at this. So, we've got a chest, obviously. Poison in a ladder. A poison. There's something on the other side of that wall. What the? I didn't even see this here. Wait a minute, did I just. Don't tell me. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just dropped down. Wait, wait, that's what I hear. You! Chunky! Chunky, what's up? Wait, how many Chunkies are there? <gasps> oh shit! Go, 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 go this way. Fuck that shit. Fuck that. No, you stay sitting down. I don't need you to get up. And what are you doing? Oh! Wait, wait, are they coming this way? They are coming. And I'm going. Oh. Okay, what the hell? There's no way out of here. Is there? Or is there? Is there or isn't there a way out of this hellhole? Oh my god, what have I done? Thanks for watching this video of Dark Souls 2 gameplay. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Click the like button to support the series on my channel. Stay subscribed for more coming up soon. My name is Kinetic. See you next time.